Hey there! In this episode I will be talking about the largest predators that ever lived during the Mesozoic time. However, due to so many theropods in competition being the largest, I've decided to nail it down to the top four, which would be Giganotosaurus, Carcharodontosaurus, Spinosaurus and of course T-Rex. So, let's start this. Giganotosaurus was the first predatory dinosaur to outplace Tyrannosaurus as the largest theropod. However, new estimates show that Giganotosaurus was probably around the same length as T-Rex could grow, or maybe a little longer. The reason for this is because even though Giganotosaurus has been found to have skull remains longer than 6 feet in length, which is longer than any Tyrannosaurus skull that's been found, it was nowhere as heavy or as robust as that as T-Rex. So it probably wouldn't need as much as a long tail like T-Rex. So, because of that, the estimates have been shortened a little, which would make Giganotosaurus about the same length, or a little bit longer possibly, at a fully grown stage to that as T-Rex. Yeah, I know. The drawing of the Giganotosaurus and the other theropod dinosaurs in this video aren't that good, but at least it gives you an idea of how big these animals were. Carcharodontosaurus is like the African relative of Giganotosaurus. It too was estimated to be larger than T-Rex. This was seen in Planet Dinosaur. However, new estimates show that Carcharodontosaurus was probably around the same size or maybe a little longer like Giganotosaurus to that with T-Rex. The reason applies with Giganotosaurus again. It might have had a long skull, but it wouldn't have been anywhere near as robust or as heavy, so a long tail probably wasn't necessary. So the estimates have been shortened to about the same length as T-Rex, 12 to 14 metres. Here is another scale drawing of Carcharodontosaurus, just so you know the ideal size that this animal could grow up to with a human scale. Spinosaurus has been depicted as the largest theropod dinosaur that's ever lived. However, a skeleton of Spinosaurus, a complete one, has never been discovered. And so the estimates suggest that Spinosaurus was capable of growing to between 16 and 18 metres in length, which is massive. That would make Spinosaurus the longest theropod that has ever lived. However, because we do not have the legs of Spinosaurus, we are not so sure of the height. So, at this present time, Spinosaurus holds the title as the longest theropod dinosaur. However, there is still a bit of debate on whether it was the heaviest or the largest. Capable of growing to the size of 16 to 18 metres, Spinosaurus is definitely the longest theropod dinosaur we know of so far. And now to T-Rex. T-Rex was thought to have been able to grow to around 12 metres and probably that was the longest it could grow. However, new discoveries including a skull from a T-Rex larger than that of Sue's has increased the estimates to maybe around 14 metres in length which would put it at about the same length as Carcharodontosaurus and Giganotosaurus. T-Rex though was probably the heavyweight out of all the theropod dinosaurs. It was incredibly robust and it had to be because it was fighting incredibly armoured and protective animals like Triceratops and Ankylosaurs. And these are the prey items that Tyrannosaurus would have hunted so it would have needed to have the strong jaws capable of crunching through those defences making T-Rex the heavyweight out of all these theropod dinosaurs. And here is the scale drawing of T-Rex from the new estimates. This is probably one of the best drawings I actually did out of all the theropod dinosaurs depicted in this video. So there we have it. Tyrannosaurus being the heavyweight, Spinosaurus being the longest, and Giganotosaurus and Carcharodontosaurus being the largest of the carnosaurs. Well, to this present time, but it's true that very soon these estimates could be completely changed as more discoveries are being made and more specimens found. For example, a new score from T-Rex has changed the estimates 
And also, if we start finding new specimens from Spinosaurus and Giganotosaurus and Carcharodontosaurus, it could completely change these estimates, either downsizing these animals or maybe even increasing the size. There are many dinosaurs that could be entered into the largest theropods that ever lived, including Tarbosaurus, Tobosaurus, and maybe even Allosaurus. But Allosaurus becomes rather complicated because we, at the moment, believe that the largest it could grow up to was around 32 feet long. However, dinosaurs like Epantherius and Saurophaganax could actually just be really large Allosaurus. Now, whether these are a new species of Allosaurus or whether these are adult morphs is still being debated. But if that's found to be the case, Allosaurus would easily be added to the list. And it would change your ideas on dinosaur growth stages and how big these animals could be. So, very soon, these estimates would probably have to be changed, which would mean I need to make a new video. So, I hope you liked this. I hope you enjoyed it. Also, I hope to be making new videos soon. And also, if there's anything you want to write in the comments about this video, because I know that there, was, there is new information coming in about dinosaur sizes, you can. So, uh, I hope to be making new videos soon. So, I'll see you guys later.